Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross update video. We have finally gotten news for the upcoming events um, for the month of May. So hopefully you guys are excited. I'm sure some of you by now will have probably seen um, the website that is Uta Macross Wiki, the official Japanese wiki. Um, and yeah, you've seen the episode plates. <laughs> that is for the month of May. And Dana or DNA has broken the trend? I don't know. I mean, it, it's no longer a month with two seven star episode plates. Okay, so let's slowly dive down the website and take a look at what's planned. So we have the first event of the month here. If I highlight this for you, it says Reversal Bunny. So that said, and if you guys have been following me on my Facebook page, you would know there is currently a retweet campaign um, going on. So if you guys follow the link uh, on my Facebook page or the link in the description down below on this video, and uh, retweet that tweet. Um, once we've reached 3,000 retweets for that particular tweet, all players will be gifted 200 singing stones uh, as a present. So that's very, very important, especially for those of us who are trying to attain the single brand new 7-star episode plate. So let's take a look at it. And yes, it belongs to Cheryl Gnome. Um, so we kind of gotten a hint for this particular 7-star um, episode plate. Sometime um, during the last um, air crossover live um, that was shown on the official Macross YouTube channel um, recently, so that was last month, um, and we got to see Cheryl in her Universal Bunny costume, both the white and the black rabbit versions. And yes, we are now finally getting a 7-star episode plate with the illustrations. So yes, you heard me right. Um, as you can tell, both illustrations are there for both the Black Bunny version and the White Bunny version. And they all belong to a single episode plate. <laughs> so what happens is basically you will gain the 6-star version. I have no idea which one it, um, it is. It's either the White bunny version then it evolves into the black bunny version or the other way around it might be the black bunny version first then it evolves into the white bunny version but according to the movie well the white bunny version evolves into <laughs> the black bunny version so we can assume that the six star form of this episode plate belongs to the white bunny version then if you gain another copy of the episode plate it evolves into the black bunny costume Alright, so how does this work? Because <laughs> technically a 7 star episode plate only unlocks a single costume variant but now this episode plate has two costume designs attached to it so this is gonna be a very interesting style of 7 star episode plate I mean, it technically could be just unlocking the um, white bunny costume then if you have Cheryl equip the um, seven star costume onto this um, universal bunny um, song oh by the way it's the mirrored version of universal bunny that we're gonna get for this um, ticketing event for this month so that will be pretty interesting um, so if you do get the episode plate and you do unlock the costume for Cheryl if you use it in the uh, live performance I assume I assume you will get to see both um, costume designs appear um, within the live performance itself um, just like you get to see it perform during um, the Utah Macross uh, Super Dimension 3D Live Tour 2021 um, air crossover so yeah um, we can expect pretty interesting stuff in the future especially if the other divas have costumes just like Cheryl's that has two different variants due to the 
uh, movie variations or TV variations, whichever that the costume appears in at that point of time. Uh, so yeah, alright, moving along. Right here, so we have the repeat event, um, and it belongs to, well, technically, I think it belongs to Makina's um, third Valkyrie Live costume, because along this information here, as you can tell the title here, it's supposed to be for the Red Boss event. Um, so, and the Red Boss event, okay, it says here, in Japanese text. The exclusive episode plate belongs to Milane and Reina. So we can assume that Rei Rei is getting her third Valkyrie Live costume during the Red Boss events gacha. So Makina should be the repeated event which is the second event of the month. So with that, take note Especially for those of you who are Maki Ray fans, uh, like myself, my wallet is not safe. <laughs> and oh, wait, one other thing um, that was not really mentioned here um, in the wiki's May April update, um, you can tell that it does not mention Ranka's birthday step up gacha. So, yes, the month of May is extremely potent. <laughs> <laughs> to my wallet. <laughs> I have Maki Ray. I have my waifu's birthday step up gacha. So, and then there's this. There is this. So, Macross 7 fans, yes, the last event of the month, which is the Diva Improvement event, um, is gonna focus on Macross 7. So, for Basara fans, you are not safe. Melane fans, uh, you are definitely not safe either. Um, not the best costume designs we've seen for the two duo, uh, but I think I think Melane's costume makes sense. Basara's costume feels a bit strange. It feels like something out of the old Showa era Sentai, or no, or rather Common Rider series. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so um, uh, we are getting a new song um, for the Macross Seven franchise of so Flash. Flash in the Dark, so yeah, and the event's title is called Flash in the Soul, so yeah, Macross 7 fans get excited. Uh, for me personally, I've actually not heard this song, so this is definitely something new for me to experience and I'm kind of excited for it because, I mean, personally, um, I feel that Macross 7 has uh, one of the best songs out there even though the story for Macross 7 is kind of dry <laughs> I mean I love I love the characters in Macross 7 I love the triangle love story in Macross 7 as well it's just that you know there's too many episodes for Macross 7 and it takes too long for the main story plot for Macross 7 to progress so yeah Macross 7 is definitely not the best Macross series to binge watch <laughs> but it's still awesome in its own way uh, so yeah okay uh, enough of my opinions <laughs> if you agree with me if you disagree with me you can you can dish it out with me in the comments down below so yeah the four main events have been mentioned and of course we have the return of the free template pool gachas, we're getting 70 plates uh, this time round. So, 7 days worth of 10 free pools. Make sure you guys make use of it um, to flush out the luck, you know, especially for certain gachas that are coming up that you really want to focus on. Be it Ranka Step Up Birthday Gacha, maybe even for Cheryl's 7 star episode plate or Maki Ray's upcoming. Uh, 6 star episode plate gachas or if you are a Macross 7 fan you can make use of the step up gachas uh, or I mean the free template pools to flush out the luck so that you can attain your husband or waifu's brand new costume and all that stuff so here we have information for a new login challenge yes it says challenge because the top prize only one player 
will gain a top prize of 5,000 singing stones. Holy crap! So yes, it starts on the 29th of April, which is technically two days time that I'm recording this video. Uh, you have to log in every day. Yes, you heard me right. As usual, the login challenges or the login bonuses, you have to log in every day, uh, gain those stamps, you know, and of course try and um, win that five thousand singing stone prize. Only one person will get it, and who oh boys five thousand singing stones? That's uh, technically. 260 US dollars worth of price <laughs> so um, definitely worth the lock-in you know just be religious in playing the game I think you should be fine uh, even for myself um, I play the game daily but sometimes you forget to tap that lock-in challenge and stamp that card uh, even though we lock in every day but stamping the card is a problem Oh, my, my lunch is ready. <laughs> yes, that ding means it's time to eat. Okay, so yeah. Um, make sure you log in daily. Get that card stamped. If whatever you know, style the login challenge is going to be in. Uh, yeah. And of course, we do have that guaranteed 5 star service um, ticket to obtain as well from this login challenge. So definitely worth the uh, efforts, you know, logging in daily. Then of course, um, yeah, so the blast thing here is the banner for the repeat event. And of course, the episode plates during this event will have costume points for Freya's uh, Constellation costume. Uh, for those of you who are new to the game, it is your chance to unlock Freya Freya's Constellation costume, which in my perspective, I think it's the best costume design so far <laughs> um, that is not featured in the TV series or even in the movie. Uh, I don't know if it will be featured in the upcoming new Macross Delta movie but to me personally, I think it's the best costume design. Uh, even Ranka has gotten a taste of this costume design and it's still my top favourite um, current Ota Macross episode plate illustration for my waifu. So yeah, <laughs> so that's about it that has been officially announced um, for Uta Macross for the month of May. Uh, as usual, Dana or DNA, depends on how you want to pronounce their company name, they would have definitely certain things not featured here in the information. Uh, and you know, you players can definitely look forward to some kind of surprise um, step up gachas or improvement gachas sometimes they will have gachas that um, feature episode plates with a certain skill or you know for a certain kind of play style and yeah uh, if you have the extra singing stones available or the extra money in your wallet and you want to attain some of the episode plates that are featured in those gachas um, go ahead be my guest but that's all for it today Thank you guys for joining me on another update of Uta Macross. Are you guys excited for the uh, brand new 7 star episode play that is kind of new in terms of its um, play style use and of course it's refreshing to have just one single 7 star episode play for the month. Uh, it's just very... it's being very kind on the wallet. So with that, I might have extra money just to do the 7 star episode plate pool and my waifu's birthday gacha as well. Hmm. <laughs> That's, I think it's very generous of Dana <laughs> um, to be kind on the wallet. Well, technically, it's not exactly kind. It's, it's still spending the same amount every month. But it's, it's just nice to know that there is no you know, two seven-star episode plays to pull alongside the birthday gacha. Oh, okay. Anyways, guys, I've talked enough. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments down below, as usual. And of course, do all the wonderful good stuff. Leave a like on the video if you appreciate the content. Share the video for those who are, uh, you know, are still playing the game and you want your friends to get down on the info. 
And of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet because apparently only 23% of you who are watching all my videos are subscribed. What's, what's the logic behind this? Come on, hit that subscribe button <laughs> and join. I don't know, I still have no name for you guys yet. Or the community, I don't know, it's Silent CL's club, so I, I don't know. If you guys can think up uh, something to call you, uh, to call you guys, uh, it will be wonderful. I mean, after all, my nickname is Silent, and you guys are pretty quiet. <laughs> I don't know whether it's deliberate or not, but if you guys think of something, let me know, and we'll talk about it sometime soon. Bye!